Jackie Bailey with me, MSP for Dumbarton. Uh, Jackie is well known for having many members' debates in the Scottish Parliament, but uh, this week you've been uh, leading off in a debate on Save Our Services. So just tell me what that's about. Yeah, well, it, in my area is the Vale of Leaven Hospital. Um, and over the years, you know, there have been cuts taking place at the Vale of Leaven to one service after another. Um, in 2009, the SNP government put in place a vision for the Vale that promised a certain range of services would be delivered there, including community midwifery services, so that you can have babies born at the Vale um, where it's safe yeah, to do so. That. Yeah, um, and so they've they've said you know they stabilised services. This document was really important, um, and they made a huge number of commitments in advance of the Scottish Parliament elections just held in May there that they would save all these services despite us finding leaked papers from Greater Glasgow and Clyde Health Board that talk not just about the Vale Maternity Unit closing, but the maternity unit at Inverclyde, the children's ward at the Royal Alexandra Hospital in Paisley, um, changes to integrated um, care centre in at Gart Naval, and also the closure of Lightburn Hospital in the east end of, of the city. So there were a whole range of proposals for service cuts that the SNP government denied were happening before the election and within weeks of the election taking place, they're all back on the table. Now, to be honest, you know, we spend a lot of time arguing about different issues in this parliament, but nothing quite strikes home. You know, it's your local maternity service, your local health services that people value. And I don't think it's doing my community any good to have a maternity unit removed. Um, and I don't think it's a vote of confidence in the staff who work so hard in our NHS day in, day out. So did you get any commitment from the minister in the debate last night? Well, no. And, you know, whilst it's, it's great because my local community hear the issues being raised as they were across Scotland, you know, and Labour members in, in the debate were, were absolutely superb, highlighting all of those um, geographical cuts. Um, the reality is there was no commitment from, from the Minister. Um, I tried to make her understand that this was such an important issue to my community that it needed to be considered as what they call a major service change. If it's designated as a major service change, then the decision has to be made by the Cabinet Secretary for Health, not by Greater Glasgow and Clyde Health Board. She wouldn't even give that commitment. Now, frankly, for my community and all the communities affected by cuts, if the Cabinet Secretary does not have the final sign-off, then she's leaving it to the Health Board. And that would simply be unacceptable because we know right. what the Health Board want to do. They want to close it. So do you suspect that ministers are standing back from that and, and so they can say, well, it wasn't our decision to close it, it was the Health Board's decision? Yeah, I think there's collusion going on between the Scottish Government and the Health Board to do exactly that, to say, you know, we are not going to take a decision to close, but the Health Board can do that. So our hands are clean. Now, that would simply be unacceptable. It would be a betrayal of the promises they made, certainly to my community, on election leaflet after election leaflet, that they would save the services at the Vale of Leaven Hospital, and there were no cuts. I mean, I remember being accused of lying, being, you know, scaremongering about this, that somehow I was making this up. You know, I hate to say that I've been vindicated. You know, I would rather these proposals weren't on the table. Um, but they're here now. Promises were made by the SNP government. I want them to fulfil those promises, not to me, but actually to the people I represent in Dumbarton constituency. So what does that mean for a community like Dumbarton if you were to lose that service? What, what would be the plan then? Well, the plan would be to either move births across to the REH in Paisley or indeed to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, at the new Southern General. Um, and you know, for anybody who lives in my neck of the woods, you understand that public transport is very poor across the river. Um, the Erskine Bridge is closed often, whether it's for repairs or high winds. It's really difficult to get from north to south of the river because all our transport connections run into the city before they run back out on the south side of the river. So this is geographically difficult for us to get to. And every local community wants babies born there. To think that we will not have babies born in the Vale in future 
just is, is yeah. I think it takes the heart out of a community. And I have to say with maternity services, women aren't ill, you know, this is the most natural thing in the world. And of course, there are complications and you need to be um, able to access consultant-led units. But other than that, we should be enabling women to give birth as close to home yeah. as possible. It's unbelievable we're still having this debate. Yeah. I mean, I remember it would be sort of 2007, 2008, where they closed the well-known Queen Mother's Hospital in yeah. Glasgow, and I was at the forefront of that campaign. That's why we now have the Children's Hospital in the Queen Elizabeth, mm -hmm. uh, which is a fantastic hospital. Yeah. But there are capacity issues. So if the veil of leaving service was to close, then that has an obvious knock-on implication yeah. uh, for Glasgow. Oh yes, and I, I'm, I'm quite clear in my mind, whether it's you know now or in the future, if we lose this campaign, the reality is that babies won't just be born at the REH in Paisley. I could foresee that all maternity services will be centred at the new Queen Elizabeth Hospital. That does create capacity issues, because you're talking about all of Greater Glasgow and Clyde, in effect, going to one location. I think babies, where possible to do, they should be born locally. Absolutely. You know, community maternity units are great things, mm -hmm. um, not least because breastfeeding rates are higher if you're giving birth in a, a community maternity unit. Um, the likely interventions are less than if you are um, a consultant-led unit. So for a number of different reasons, it's a good model. It's a model that's used in other health boards in Scotland. Um, so, you know, I don't see them as being unsafe. We need to make sure that we challenge the health board that they are delivering safe and appropriate services in our local areas where it's possible to do so. And in the case of maternity, it is absolutely possible to do it at the Vale of Leaven Hospital. So this is obviously going to be a big campaign for you, Jackie, through this parliamentary yeah. session. It's, it's a huge campaign, you know, and I, I am sustained by the fact that see if this was just a decline in the number of births, then maybe the health board would have a point. But you know, the number of births with local women is actually staying really steady. It's, it's increasing in areas. Um, so the decline in births at the community midwifery mm -hmm. unit is entirely down to the actions of Greater Glasgow and Clyde Health Board.